So let's jump into here, and we're going to be talking about, uh, first off, a little show, our first episode of The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. Melancholy. The Melancholy of Haruhi Melancholy. Suzumiya. Uh, but we seem to be watching The Adventures of Mikuru Asahina. Hmm. Which seems a little it strange. It's a little bit different. It does look a little different. So, and, and how is it that the name of the actor is the name <laughs> of the person that they're playing? Isn't that strange? Yes. Um, it, it's there's also, something odd about there's that. There's something very odd about that. Um, there's also something odd about the fact that um, all the other people involved are the same person as well. Um, Haruhi oh, Suzumiya. It's also screenplay. Haruhi Suzumiya doing that. Um, episode director. Oh, wow. <laughs> When he, he was, this person is very, very active. Very active. That, that's a very good way of uh, putting it. Chore boy Kion. That's a lot of hats to wear. Exactly. <laughs> and how, so, you, how how is it they're making a film about themselves? They're actually playing themselves on this. So, isn't this interesting? So, um, the story opens obviously with, and which you're, you're not hearing, um, uh, a a monologue, sort of an uh, internal monologue by a certain character who you dub voice um, fans will know as Crispin Freeman, uh, who, is, who is narrating as, uh, as someone and ex um, trying to explain the plot of this odd little story. And um, one of the first things you'll notice actually is the odd color scheme here. There's a sort of a desaturated style to the whole thing. It's a slightly grainy style to the whole, um, uh, the whole situation. Um, really badly colored <laughs> um you know really weird coloring there on on the those characters and uh, people who are acting very strangely as they're standing around and uh as we watch it there, there comes a point where one realizes um someone's having some fun <laughs> oh this part is <laughs> is is fun to watch <laughs> let's watch it again there we go <laughs> no but this is in the show and we get to watch it again and this, this is the funny thing is in anything else, they just show the same shot four times. But no, they had her run four times. Four times. <laughs> By the time she's done, she's... Ah. <laughs> yeah. And here's another great example of the, just the thought of this. There's obviously somebody walking along next to him, holding a camera, and trying to keep up with him. It keeps moving forward and backwards and the, in and out. The perspective is very much of a handheld camera, mm -hmm. not an anime, here's right. the show... Exactly, yeah. and then uh, uh, poor Mikuru oh, it was walks out of by. focus there. Yep, uh, yeah, focus is a recurring problem on this particular uh, story. <laughs> um, and so she comes in, and we have the, and again, here, here's your first major clue that they're they may be shooting on on uh, on film or a, on a on a tape rather. Oh, we get to see what get she does. See what she's she, off work. Uh, oh, <laughs> hey, where to go? <laughs> that was part of the show. <laughs> exactly, it was. Oh, we wow. Didn't do that. that. That was that was in there. Um and I want to point out actually just the the amazing detail here. Um if if you look at it, I'm just going to try to um get, get it kind of a moment by moment. Look at the the little video artifacting when it cuts over. You get the mosaic you get, there. You get that little mosaic little there. Little mosaic and then the blue screen like we used to get with VHS when you'd stop. Exactly. Tape. Yeah. So they're obviously doing something there with uh, trying to indicate this is literally on tape. This is the tape that's pause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fan service. <laughs> Before I'm even uh, mm, yeah. aware of what's going on. And we get a Yuki for the first time, the mysterious Yuki the witch. Um, and then we have our, our wonderful first battle between Mikuru and Yuki. So, um, Mikuru, the, the, the battle waitress? The battle waitress, yes, battle waitress. exactly. Uh, wearing this rather ridiculous cosplay outfit. Um, you see the camera trying to zoom in very unsteadily. So she's not in her bunny in. outfit anymore. No, now she's wearing her her uh, magical girl uniform, so to speak, and Yuki is very impressed. Guns. Guns, yeah. Chicks with guns. Chicks with guns. <laughs> <laughs> and they're being deflected by the, the, the wand. Was it the Phoenix Burning? Something along those lines. They called it. It's great. Um, and I hear again is our is our first clue. That this is something even even more than what we thought it might be. Gun versus wand. Mm -hmm. Oh, the eye. So a couple of things. First off, um, up until this point, um, she's only had auburn eyes. Yes. So suddenly she has a blue eye. A blue eye. And yes. That doesn't look natural. No. And then she does her little Mikuru beam. Whoa. 
that's an odd special effect. That was like a flashbulb. It was. <laughs> um, and suddenly she gets molested oh, by uh, Yuki. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a little strange. Uh, stop oh, it. wait. Oh. Who's that? Where, where's the camera mm. going? Wait, this. <laughs> okay, back to <laughs> back to our character filming an ad uh, in front of a uh, electronic shop now, nearby. This is this is leading me to think that this this anime is a little bit disjointed <laughs> here. How am I going to put? Bit. I, 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 I I can I can roll with that. Mm. Okay, but hmm. now these two were fighting in the last scene. They and were. They're, they're they're working here together <laughs> to sell to sell the wear of this place. <laughs> yeah, something's kind of strange going on here. Um, and then, uh, and they meet again in the street. Oh, then, um, I'm sorry. Uh, then oh, the next day, next day. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't we didn't get street. to see the, <gasps> oh, Yuki shows up again with a cat who's slowly falling off. Um, and they have this, the witch this, alien. Mm -hmm. oh, that's right. She, she's a witch <laughs> and an alien. Mine as well. Um, and it's gay is mm. just, a. um, he's a normal person, but he has, he has ESP powers, ESP latent powers. ESP powers, latent apparently. ESP. And so now you have our wonderful 70s special effects here. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, bonk. <laughs> Poor Mikuru. Um, <laughs> I will defend him. <laughs> she um, her eye. <laughs> <laughs> and then Yuki gives her little uh, uh, conversation as some guy gets into a car behind her and <laughs> just walks off. <laughs> uh, and then she decides to walk off. And Yuki's still walking off in the distance. I, that's just <laughs> awesome. Um, now, the dialogue from him up till now has been very flat. Yes. yes. <laughs> like he was reading it. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Kind of like he's reading it. Um, <laughs> Mikuru, what are you doing? Um, and we get the fight here uh, with our little magical girl um, stance. You know, she's always off balance when she's trying to do that. <laughs> I laugh every time I see that. He's he's standing in the back room with a card, <laughs> yeah. a reflector like, card. Or... Yep. We we quickly rebalance hey, on her position, reposition, <laughs> frame, frame. Focus, it, focus. Yeah, yeah, focus is still going in and out. Uh oh. Oh, our, our sudden new characters. New characters, zombies apparently. The puppets mm -hmm. of Yuki. Oh, very dangerous. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> No special effects whatsoever. Um, he's kind of wandering up. And then uh, Turia gets her uh, her big line here. <laughs> <laughs> Yuki's back there just sort of waving vaguely back and forth. You're under my spell. <laughs> here we go. <gasps> uh, also, let, let, let's note that we, we cut to her in the shock reaction. Um, Obviously filmed something somewhere <gasps> completely different because now she doesn't have that expression anymore. Oh, <laughs> the emotions are gone. The emotions are gone, apparently. <laughs> and so they uh, they move in and... Uh, Approaching puppets. Oh, oh no. no. What are they going to do? Uh, what are they going to do? They're going to throw her in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! Up. <laughs> Both of them went in. Both went in. <laughs> Rescue her. Rescue her. Absolutely. Person <laughs> <laughs> just kind of stand around. She's out of the water. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Faint. Oh, there she goes. Um, and then here's where you start getting some hints that the announcer is also part of things a little bit. Because every time he mentions it's a key, <laughs> he starts to get pissed off. He really breaks the fourth wall. Yeah, he's yeah. addressing the viewers, everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hand up. <laughs> one, of, one of my favorites is... Uh, We'll be lucky if this movie makes any sense at all. <laughs> Wait a second. He's, he's the narrator. <laughs> and the implication that, wait, has he bathed her? What's going on? <laughs> this can't be happening. It's almost like he's he's, he's doing the comedy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> anime Science Theater 3000. It's, a, it's an anime series that's misting itself. It's kind of, kind of impressive. Yeah. Um, and it's covering a lot of a lot of genres there. It's it is. Of... Yeah. Um, and then we mentioned earlier that... Uh, there's a point that in this where he says, "Wait, but these are just characters that we're watching on screen." <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Well, uh... <laughs> and we lean in for the kiss, but it, oh, Yuki's showing up again. I love the framing there. She's yeah. got one leg in the frame, mm -hmm. and there's 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 a mirroring, yeah, planter, a little vase mm -hmm. that sort of mirrors her. 
her leg, except yeah. it's the wrong side. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a very That's artsy true. shot, actually. Very artsy shot. Mm -hmm. And then I think here's where Itsuki finally decides. Um, he's going to act. He's going to act, yes. <laughs> oh, mm, but That's wait. what I think. Ah. Oh, oh, Instead is that of possible? reading off a script, I can think <laughs> this through. And speak a dialogue. <laughs> and go on for like 60 seconds, making no sense at all. <laughs> oh, love it. Um, and on and on he goes, and on and on he goes. That's thought process. Exactly. He, he uses his hands to, oh, <laughs> we're back here again. Yep. Now she, there's back a uh, the store. model kit shot. <laughs> shot. <laughs> this is also awesome that she's, um, she's saying, uh, he, you know, he left his dull corporate job to get a, make this shop with models because he loves models and it's his passion and oh wait sales are down 80 percent over the last year come here and buy a model please <laughs> <laughs> then uh wait you want me to actually pick one up okay got... <laughs> do you know how to fire that you want me to fire it what <laughs> <laughs> and we cut away uh, new characters. New characters. Suddenly jump. <laughs> Time and, passes. Who's this? <laughs> and we accelerate rather rapidly. Yeah. This. There's there's another character. Mm -hmm. And that cat. The same cat. Same that... cat. <laughs> the shower scene. On the Moe <laughs> things. They throw in. And... Mm -hmm. Playing Uno. And actually, I think that is literally Uno, isn't it? It does look like Uno. I think Uno. it is. Uno. 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 Okay. Uno. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Uno. I just played that recently, too. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Um, yeah, all, all the, the classic stuff. The narrator says, <laughs> as if it's written by a drunk child. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not supposed to say that. that as <laughs> it's written by a drunk, drunk child. child. <laughs> it's wrong on so many levels. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, we have the, the perfectly cliche love triangle uh, story. Love triangle. They're going to school together. Suddenly, um, she transfers. Yeah, he, both of them <laughs> transfer. <laughs> Why they didn't transfer earlier? <laughs> uh oh, it's uh, on. Oh, it's on. No. And I actually, I want to point out here, um, Yuki actually does look annoyed here, which is, is kind of interesting. Is it her her first real? She, she finally emotion. shows some emotion. Yeah, yeah she's, up until now, she's mm -hmm. been the robot who just <laughs> recites her line with no emotion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The cat hanging off her shoulder. <gasps> and, and here we see every time Maku tries to do something, she's worried about how, how short her skirt is. So um, they, they do wow. some sort of random fighting. They just, they just went to the the bamboo, <laughs> bamboo and fight. they're back. Yeah. Oh, skirt. Yep. Oh, holding the skirt down. The <laughs> <laughs> Don't look up there. <laughs> Little kids are all standing around, staring, just like, "What's going on?" <laughs> mm, racing around the the, the set. <laughs> um, and then the final fight. Um, which uh, Mikuru says to Turiya, who just cannot keep it in. She oh, just she loses her composure. <laughs> she can't hold it. And all of a sudden, she, she's losing. <laughs> she just loses it completely. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She, she, she keeps on laughing. Right? She just, it, it goes on and on and on. Oh, she, <laughs> fell in she doesn't even hold it back. She's like, ah. Oh, the camera drifts <laughs> off. Right. <laughs> Suddenly, the balance on the camera goes off. We see, oh, here we are. Next oh, scene. Okay, so, so here we are on, on the roof. roof. The, the big fight scene on the roof. Oh, zoom in. Zoom in. Again. Emotional shots. <laughs> focus, focus. And. Mm. And here we go. Oh, jump shot. Jump shot. Stay here. Stay what? here. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, our, our, laser our, eye. Our fa fabulous 70 special effects. Whoa. And both. Both. Oh, apparently deflected. <laughs> deflected by the power of the law. Mm -hmm. So she jumps, and now her powers go off. <laughs> but she doesn't act because she's frightened by the effects. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> the interruption of one of the teachers. Yeah, the teachers what are you guys doing on the roof? Cut. <laughs> oh. And now again, and here. The cat's about to fall off. Cat's about to fall off. Uh, Power of the wall. And even he says, I know the special effects are weak. It's the best we can do. Use your imagination. <laughs> um, and now, again, here, here we start getting some, some more hints that something a little more interesting is going on uh, because Itsuki comes in and the cat talks. Yeah, the, the cat starts talking. <laughs> that is one magical cat. It's one magical cat, exactly. How, how could no one introduce well, us before? How, 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 how did that work? Maybe the cat's the one that's been talking through her Maybe, the whole time. Maybe, who knows? <laughs> She whacked the cat with <laughs> <laughs> bonk, bonk. 
Oops. <gasps> Oops. And then, um, and, and, and again, here's where things get a little interesting. To take his ESP. That's <gasps> not a cheesy 70s special That's effect. That's a cool effect. That's a cool effect. Where'd that I come from? I wish I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And off flies My Yuki. days at work would be so much more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> And everything's well, and of course we, we pan up to the sky, not completely. Yeah. Oh, it's 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 Sakura it's time. Spring, spring. The cherry blossoms exactly. are in blue. Got to have the cherry blossom sequence. Very it's a beautiful pretty. shot. It is. It really is. Um, and he gives her the cherry blossom. Oh, and she wants to kiss. Oh, and we pan up real quick. <laughs> okay. And oh, it was funny. It sounded like the cameraman or the director, the uh, narrator. <laughs> Was getting ticked off. You were about to kiss before. <laughs> I'm gonna come in and kick you off the set if you go any further. <laughs> and here's where we see the same names over and over. And suddenly we get a much more very realistic looking yeah. outside of the building there. Very lovely school building. Cutting to the SOS SOS Brigade. It's called uh, Room, and they're screening. What we just saw. <laughs> There's screen. All this is what? a show they've, we've been watching. Exactly. And here are the folks we've just been seeing, and they're watching this. And <gasps> somebody, who's this? Who's this? Ultra director. <laughs> yeah. And she loves it. It's awesome. It's going to be filled We're not up. This to anybody? <laughs> are we? No, we can't possibly show this. <laughs> She's standing She's on the up desk. <laughs> yeah, we're going to show this 24-7 at the festival. Everybody's going to watch. He no. just wants to go home to go to sleep. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> mm. Well, sometimes it's more important just to get it out there exactly. than it is yes. to get it perfect. <laughs> and and I, I think... Um, if we waited until everything was perfect, we wouldn't... <laughs> exactly, yeah. This show is a great example of that. Um, so yeah, what we've been seeing for the past 20 minutes is a show within a show. That is cool, and it's it's kind of parodied a lot of shows yeah. in, in that process, and a lot of life too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ready, fire, aim. <laughs> we got parodies of Magical Girl, of sci-fi, chicks with guns, chicks with guns, um, even uh, uh, the romance, commercials, all sorts of stuff in there. Commercials. Yeah. And here's the uh, the famous uh, Haruhi dance from the uh, end credit sequence. Oh, I've got to learn to do that. Dance. Oh, it's a fun one. Um, yeah, we uh, intercut with uh, occasional shots of the uh, the characters dancing back and forth. Um, as and so it's Brigade. And so for those of you following along, um, um, in terms of the English voice cast, this is a pretty impressive voice cast. So Kion is Kristen Freeman. Um, Harvey Suzumiya is Faye Wait, Valentine me. herself, Wendy Lee. Uh, Michelle Ruff as Yuki Nagato. Um, some, of, some of you may know her from Dual Parallel Trouble Adventure. Um, Stephanie Shea is Mikuru. And Johnny Young Bosch. Bash the Stampede himself. Oh, yes. Bash. Bash is in there as well. Kari Walgren, Sam Rigel, Steve Kramer. Uh, it's quite quite the group. And the, the final little uh, dance there. Dum, dum, dum. Wow. <laughs> wow. So yeah, so now we see this is going to be a... a uh, an actual anime series. At first, at first, I was noticing the voices seemed a little bit. <laughs> hey, what's the deal with this guy? He's, exactly. He he's reading it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. We're yeah. watching a film about kids who are making a film. There. Okay. Uh, okay exactly. That makes sense more. <laughs> and, and here's something else that I um, it took me a little while to notice. Um, this is in um, a standard def. Yeah. It's not widescreen. Yeah, you know, I I, I saw that earlier, and I was thinking, well. Did we adjust everything right? <laughs> oh yeah, that is. <laughs> and, and there's just so many little little uh, details here. Um, I love how when the camera pans up, let's see here, uh, when the camera pans up here, you'll notice how like it comes slightly off camera and then tilts up, like it like they're trying to um, uh, yank it off of the. There, there it is. Oh, oh, off the tripod. Go, they're the tripod. walking away. I gotta get the next shot. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty impressive I, stuff. I, I think a lot of cameramen have had the situation where they haven't got their camera front back balanced, mm -hmm. and you loosen up something, and all of a sudden you shoot <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh, don't let it fall over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what were your thoughts overall on this? Uh, this oh, it was a riot. <laughs> <laughs> it was a riot. <laughs> when the narrator says it's as if this was written by a drunk child, <laughs> you know, it's a riot. <laughs> Oh. We'll be lucky if anyone understands this at all. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. 
in terms there's, of there's yeah. a lot. I mean, we're we're not just seeing uh, mm. the the story that they're trying to portray, which mm. is confusing as it is, <laughs> but we're seeing the 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 relationships of the actors and yeah. the the students themselves. Mm-hmm. Hey, wait, you know, the guy who's doing this camera is apparently pretty sweet mm-hmm. on the mm-hmm. magical yeah. world here. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he's letting her do this, and they're getting pretty close. True, and, but he's he's got his he's got his moments, and wow, there's, mm-hmm. there's, there's, there's I love the camera point of view. I mean, yeah. that that's that's a riot. Yeah. Um, what do you think in general about the um? Oops, why is that not going? Um, in in terms of what we're seeing of the characters, because um, we got a, we got a wide variety of characters here. Well, they they. As actors, it seems like they each have their gift, their mm-hmm. area where they're 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 terrible, <laughs> and spots where they shine briefly for yeah. for, for a little bit. Mm-hmm. You say, "Hey, that's potential there." <laughs> if he just did that earlier, yeah. or if she just did this around mm-hmm. a little bit more, uh, and it's every aspect. I mean, mm. it's the audio, it's the video, it's <laughs> the acting, the directing. <laughs> Yeah, producing. <laughs> I I can't really throw stones. I mean, I sure. But at the same time, it's funny to see other people make st- mistakes that you know are obviously. Wow. Ooh, ooh. I also Tell love, one. I also love that, that idea that you know they're clearly using every frame of footage they have. <laughs> oh, when the teachers come up on the roof, hey, what are you kids doing up here? They're setting off fireworks on their school roof. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's probably uh. Somebody's unhappy about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it, it's it's funny. And I mean, to that point, I think it's a, an excellent point that um, Yuki's a good example where she's obviously very flat. She's just reciting her lines. Very much um, robot. But she's very pragmatic. <laughs> she's clearly kind of just doing the things that, that need to get done to get things done. She silences the cat. Um, Whack. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, Itsuki, the, the boy here, is uh, um, obviously not... <laughs> Not the best actor. He's he's uh, struggling somewhat, but he can he can kind of push through when when the, the time comes. Um, and Mikuru is just cute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the the bunny outfit. <laughs> She's doing her best despite being thrown into all these embarrassing situations. <laughs> she needs something to hold down her skirt for her. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And speaking of skirts and holding things down, let's move on to uh, to Yamada's first time. Oh. Yamada doesn't want to hold down her skirt. No, she does not. She wants to lift it. <laughs> Certainly. Absolutely. In the right situation. In the right situations with the right person. <laughs> which which appears to be very much um, um, her, her little bow here. <laughs> the walking sign. <laughs> Venus flytrap. Venus flytrap. Venus. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Yamada. So we come in here uh, reminded of Talk her. Sure. Yes. I don't Takashi. I like Takashi. I, I like him the a lot. Voice too. of reason. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Yamada. <laughs> and Yamada is stressing out about her uh, her new rival. Ah, uh, yes. And uh, what's she gonna do? I know it, it's tough. I mean, she she's got a a girl who's not only nice but also uh, doesn't flaunt it. <laughs> the recorder <laughs> that will that will counter her piano. <laughs> Uh, what she <laughs> oh, yeah, why, why is she practicing her her blowing skills on the recorder? I wonder. Um, oh my! But she's gotta she's gotta beat this girl, and uh, there just doesn't seem to be any way of doing it um, until we get the announcement of the the plot device of the week, which is and I, I love how she's always worried about losing weight. She's, she's like, like eighty squirt. pounds soaking wet. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I don't want to lose my <laughs> what she doesn't really lose. have. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, swimsuit season. Swimsuit season. All right. Starting Major swimming class. swimsuit. <laughs> so this is something that um uh a school swimsuit. Yeah. Um uh, uh, it, it's confusing to a lot of American fans is and international fans. Uh so in Japan, you, um all students are expected to buy a standard school swimsuit. So every school has its own swimsuit for guys and girls. Um, and, uh, so now of course, since it's warmer weather, it's time for those, those the outfits swim to come uniform. out. The swim uniform. Absolutely. No, no, no going out on your own, doing your own thing. No, not so much. Um, oh, so this you, is... you, 
Yamada is shaving herself. Oh. And she decides you better shave What down about there. all that? Yes. <laughs> you go down there. I love that. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Ah! <laughs> no, no. And there she is, embarrassed. <laughs> I love how, for as much as it was sex me, she needed to be. She gets embarrassed real easily. <laughs> oh, and then uh, uh, Kosuda's thinking, thinking of her. Swimsuit Poor guy, season. and he's imagining her in her swimsuit, which he, Ooh. she was so, she looked so oh. nice in. And my, my goodness, that's very. It's not the school uniform. Oh, oh nope. it is, it's <laughs> It's a hint. But what's going on oh, there? Yeah. <laughs> She comes in easy. <laughs> push ups, push ups, push ups. <laughs> You're not going to get six pack <laughs> in three days. <laughs> yeah. And now we get Yamada, oh, and they're changing God. into their swimsuits. And <laughs> here's where Yamada again gets creepy as heck. Boob and V. <gasps> <gasps> She's got <laughs> two Mount Fuji's. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <F> -cup. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And now she had to spy on her rival. <laughs> oh. A little bit of fan service here. A little bit. She's looking intently. <gasps> she really is. Wait. That swimsuit. <laughs> and so that's kind of the, the, the surprise is that uh, um, her rival does not have a school swimsuit. <gasps> and so she's apparently been allowed to wear one of her own. Sneaky. The race swimsuit, which is... A race and a racy swimsuit. But that's not going to outdo Yamada. No, certainly not. Because Yamada so, has been studying. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, everyone's uh, showing off their, their their various figures. And apparently like it is really embarrassing as a girl going out there. Because you know, every guy's watching. Changes, her. Exactly. The guys are all there. They're horny. Mm -hmm. and... Yep. <laughs> 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 then the comparisons. Yeah, all the comparisons. Yeah, sure. it's, yeah. it's more obvious when a girl's body changes. Exactly. Um, and at different rates. Zamata mm. is ready to strut her stuff because she, she is sure. the gift to nature. <laughs> the gift to nature. <laughs> Even though her friend is a little bit more... Well, yeah, keep be. it down a little bit. I love that uh, Yamada is She's literally... She's strike a pose. <laughs> she has her ace up the, the sleeve. <laughs> I've been studying. <laughs> Probably not what you should be doing. <laughs> And so here it's we, funny, they've got swim caps now. They do. So that's another um, standard thing these days is that they'll have swim caps. Um, again, for the hair. You know, you, you don't want the hair from going everywhere, mm -hmm. I suppose. Yeah. And I mean, you know, you get your hair wet and all that chlorine. It's not so great for uh, uh, for such things. It doesn't really keep out much water, though, does it? Yeah. Not too much. yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Better than nothing, I suppose. I yeah. Um, and so here we get our, our little sports uh, excitement of the episode. <laughs> A little challenge between... Yamada and her rival. They're gonna they're gonna race together. <laughs> Now's your chance to shine. Mm -hmm. Yep. Beat and, your rival. And and we see that they're both champions in their own way. One with Spark. <laughs> oh, they, the pose competition is going on. Uh, so the guys I, are loving it. And this is important because it's reminding us that uh, 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 um, oh. this is not completely innocent on either side. No, there's there's some. Both of them are competing, <laughs> certainly. Uh, the teacher brings it back in and mm -hmm. gets them focused. <laughs> Look, a UFO! Oh, yeah, what? 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 Where? What? Uh, <laughs> sneaky tactic, Yamada. Sneaky. Just like her. It's a little too naive there, I think. <laughs> yeah. Poor thing. <laughs> but but she plays it off well because she's mm -hmm. she's got the confidence. Yep. And um, it's, it's another uh, good point that you know, Yamada feels like she needs to cheat to win. Yeah, um, that's 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 the oh come on yeah, Yamada exactly. But you know she's her rival has had competition in the mm -hmm. USA, so, yeah, or whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> and and then suddenly, you know, she we, 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 yeah, she, she sparkles. She seems Everywhere. nice, and then the claws come out. Sing. Yeah, <laughs> suddenly she is really. Uh, mm, uh, I, I love. Uh, I want to uh, go back here real quick. Um, there's this. Look at Yamada's expression. <laughs> Whoa. That, that's serious uh, stuff. She's speechless. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I hate her. 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 <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh. Her sister. So she's trying to get her little sister to help her out here. Come on. You're going to help me. <laughs> oh, so, but that's funny. And, and 
it's Love interesting how sister. like everyone acknowledges that her little sister is always going around with hot guys. Yeah. Why do you think that is? And 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 her sister is only one year behind yeah. her, mm -hmm. but she's almost a head shorter. Yeah. She hasn't got her growth spurt, but her maturity mm -hmm. level seems to be far, far above eh? Yamada's. <laughs> Well, Maybe she's learning from her sister's mistakes. Yeah, that could well be. <laughs> that, that that seems reasonable. But she also, like you said, she's very level-headed. Yeah. You know, she it, it seems like not nothing much phases her. She kind of lets things lets things ride. And so we have our little uh, oh the cloud little, little competition little face off between the Sparkle, two. Sparkle but glare. Yeah, when they're trying to figure each other out, they're sizing each other up. And and again, this is one of the things I love about the series is getting into the whole. Um, Girl competition thing. You know, girls can be very competitive. Oh, very. Um, just getting, oh, but no. My little sister's <laughs> hit it off with my rival. Oh, no. She says she is beautiful. Yeah. She is pretty. They we're you actually know? sizing each other up. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. You know, true aspects of each other rather than the, uh, <laughs> the imagined uh, viciousness. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Despite the fact that. <laughs> Uh, Yamada and Kosuda have barely gone out like what three times so far, but she's got to defend her 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 date. So it's, it's summer. It's time to uh, <laughs> imagine the year around <laughs> with a window open. <laughs> Not so good. So he's gonna he wants to uh, invite her out, but no no dice. Their schedules don't match up. Schedules. Which is very yeah. frustrating. Remember, remember again that uh, uh, they only get a month off. Only a good month. Summer. So got to be with the family, take care mm -hmm. of everything. So Yamada's trying to figure it all out. What's he do during what his he do time during off? The, visiting uh, old well, relatives. Good things, you know. Yeah, he's, exactly. He's sweeping up. Mm -hmm. He's visiting the relatives. Yep. He's doing the family thing. Mm -hmm. And Yamada's stalking him the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> she, she gets caught holding binoculars. <laughs> Kevin, nothing, nothing, nothing. nothing, nothing. <laughs> Turns out he's gone out for a family holiday. They take every year. Um, and all the neighbors have gone along with F Cup. Oh, oh no. Not F Cup. Yep. Isn't that sweet? This is going to be all of the neighbors. Ah! The reaction when she finds that out. <laughs> Love that expression. That's scary. It is. That scared me. <laughs> Bit of horror sequence there. Oh, you might have returned to the wild. Yeah. So here, here we get this, this interesting um, sort of second half of the episode where um, uh, the two are separated. Oh. Kosta is off. <gasps> oh, what might be, might be going on there? Who knows? Oh. Um, and so, What's that in the background? I don't know. Actually. I think that's a packet of... Hmm? I think that's a packet of... Hmm? I think I've seen that logo on some other products. Oh, it's, that's right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, some, some ogre products. Um... <laughs> So yeah, so, so um, um, they're separated, and, and, and Kosuda is off having really a, a fairly nice time. Like, yeah. like he, he, he's enjoying yeah. himself. He's enjoying himself, but he he's realizing that there is some family obligation yeah. and some expectations, mm -hmm. and uh, he's he's playing around with the idea of changing this in the future. But he doesn't yeah. have the courage to say, "Look, I'm enjoying myself, mm -hmm. but." I want to do something else next year. Well, you know, they say absence make the heart, makes the heart grow fonder. And I think this is bolstering that where they're, they're both realizing, I want to spend time with oh, each other, you know? Time apart. Exactly. I with my Sweet. <laughs> and, and Yamada gets picked up by what she does not expect at all. She's going to um, hitch a ride with her beauty, her looks. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Who'd she catch? A bunch, bunch of military, military nuts. What are all clearly. these guys with guns? <laughs> and so, of course, she says, no, oh, I'm not going with you, but, but that's not there, really where she ended up. <laughs> Can't say no, um, which is appropriate, perhaps. And this is funny. The families are there, and they have yeah. expectations. Uh, mm. Mino and Kosada yeah. is not there. He's, so Who's going to end up with who? And... He's, he's there physically, mm. but no. Yeah. But he's, emotionally, he's far away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, poor guy. So uh, so here we have our wonderful little uh, uh, fight scene where apparently Yamada's been drafted into their... Uh, uh, we said it was airsoft. Airsoft. Yes. Airsoft battle. Um, so she's just blowing everyone away. Oh, she turns into a wolf. Yamada the she, wolf. She, she just takes off. <laughs> Her true nature. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little competitive sometimes. A little, Maybe a little competitive. competitive. Playing a little poker there. Um, and then we get... Uh, I, I, this, this scene just made me laugh uncontrollably. When suddenly it, it turns into full-scale 
the, like the, the 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 land is burnt to a crisp <laughs> it's just the, the end Bodies of lying war. everywhere um <laughs> no water no nothing Every, everything is the destroyed. carnage of war <laughs> even though it's airsoft her, her imagination is just taken to the level and he, he dies the words of wisdom that he has if you want it Go and get it. <laughs> yes, sir. Do you, you wonder though? Oh. She takes it to heart. <laughs> I'm going to get it. <laughs> and there's this really sweet scene. Um, oh, that is with, with Kosada. Beautiful watching the stars. Mm -hmm. And uh, childhood friend. Childhood friend. Yeah, exactly. Uh -oh, Enjoying each other. Comments. He even makes the point that he used to go over to her house to uh, look at the telescope when they were kids. Very romantic. Yeah, very romantic. Very <sighs> mind you stuff. She's still carrying the airsoft gun. Um, you might have got the gun. <laughs> <laughs> and those airsoft guns look realistic. Yeah, they, they sure do. Um, they, they designed them that way. <laughs> <laughs> so she comes across. Oh, <gasps> a little, little lovey dovey happened they, there. As usual, mm -hmm. uh, that childhood friendship just. Mm -hmm. There's too Not, much weirdness. Yeah. It would ruin the friendship. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't. Oh, right there. <laughs> but she was, uh, they were observed. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and so uh, Yamada comes Guns out. Guns blazing. <laughs> <laughs> but not really. Not really. No. <laughs> this is what really happens. She just comes charging out like ah! a, <laughs> like a He's demon. not expecting her. I mean, no, no. that would freak me out. <laughs> some crazy girl. Ah! <laughs> Even if it was somebody I knew. Right. <laughs> and she's not. Mm-hmm. Too. And here's where, where um, uh, it starts to really I become saw. revealed. I saw. It. She's jealous. Jealous. She's yeah. jealous that Green Eyed Monster has reared its head. And I think this is the first time where he's realized she's jealous. I mean, it, she she started to realize it herself, yeah. but suddenly now he he sees that she she cares. Yeah. It, it's a, a another another step forward. Justifying his his thoughts that he should be with her. Yeah, exactly. Um, she, she's willing to fight for him. Yeah, totally. Uh, <laughs> despite not saying anything about it up to this point, um, and it all kind of gets mended. And he says uh, he wants to take photos of her, which leads to but, again. This... But her her ego it always seems in the way. <laughs> it she's, does. She she's not going to admit that she was, but mm -hmm. he knows it. Yeah, he yeah. knows it. He can see. Again, getting back to that that whole thing of uh, you know, uh, will he invite me in? Should I just invite her in? <laughs> <laughs> Take pictures of me. Mm -hmm. His first time with a digital camera, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, he, he prefers film. His first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a hint. <laughs> Shoot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there's this interesting um, element to, to it where um, she's kind of embarrassed. Yeah, she, she's just not quite sure what's going on here. She's not posing suddenly. Yeah. What happened to your poses, Yamada? Yeah. <sighs> the true Yamada. Yeah. Suddenly, suddenly she's feeling a little, um, <gasps> maybe it's time. She's ready. Yeah, she's ready. She's like, oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, uh, the batteries, batteries are dead. dead. <laughs> oh, how many times has that happened to Yamada? <laughs> Poor girl's timing is just. Uh, exactly. She's got the natural timing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Expose yourself when nothing will happen. <laughs> Despite how much you want it, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but she but she realizes he, it's actually very sweet. He he, he really does care about her and, and want to uh, spend so time with her. Look at those stars, beautiful. And out in the out in the woods in the country, there's less light pollution. You can see yeah, so much more. Exactly. And uh, Japan's a very mountainous country, so there's a, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of unspoiled wilderness out there. Formed in each. Huh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a little etchy. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let you there. True to Yamada. <laughs> exactly. So things are continu continuing to move forward with Yamada. Yeah. She's, there, there's some hope there. Th there is. Yeah. Um, well, I think there's always hope, but uh, <laughs> that hope is definitely starting to uh, um, blossom into something a little more real, maybe? Her, her rival still doesn't know her boyfriend is yet. Mm, true. And I think she's getting a little bit more of a clear idea. Mm. He is... Her boyfriend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're both moving in that direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna, we're definitely going to move forward. I still want to see this magical girl. <laughs> That's just too adorable. She looks like uh, 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 Mino. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, th I think it's some alter ego is, or is something. That, I don't yeah, know. She, waiting for her to express yeah, herself. Maybe. She hasn't come out of her shell. She, I, haven't, she hasn't broken through. No. Said. 
Mm-hmm. She uh, expressed her true desires. Right. Yes. We'll see. But if she does, what will that mean for Kosita? Mm. Who, 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 well, mm. yeah. Mm. That's a good, uh, well, she, wow. Yeah. The triangle. Mm-hmm. The triangle continues. Yeah. The triangle's becoming sort of a, <laughs> sort of a, a spirograph. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's curling over on its own tail. <laughs> So uh, yeah, so we're continuing to, to move forward on on Yamada. Very curious, curious to see where this is, where this is gonna go. So uh, next time we have the the, the school trip. The school trip. So they're uh, heading, that's a fun one. Yeah, oh. so they're heading out. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, we're gonna have a bathhouse scene. Bathhouse. Gotta have it. <laughs> oh, I love that expression. <laughs> <laughs> What's we'll the name what's for that happen. expression with this sort of W-shaped mouth? I don't know. It's sort of a cat expression. Yeah. 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 It's very, very cool. Oh, I love that one. I've seen people actually do that. And it's just, (laughs) whoa, you did it. Just like in the cartoons. Just like in the anime. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Cool. All right. Um, So that is Smoke and Mirrors for um, for Yamada. Episode 7. Episode 7. So we'll be coming back next time for for more of that. Episode 8. Yes. And more of Harvey. Let's see here. Um, I was so confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said we thought he's, he got a bad DVD when he started watching Haro. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's a, yeah. Uh huh. I did a double take. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. Let's see here. I have no idea what, what amiibos are. We fit trainer. Okay, I'm. I'm so. Confused. Um, so Liquidus, um, uh, the um, it does happen um, later. The broadcast order of Haruhi is deliberately out of sequential order. Oh, it's like a hook. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're showing you things from later to kind of hook you in to show you what's for other stuff to happen happen there. Hopefully, people watched through to the end mm-hmm. and didn't say oh this was yep because that that's the giveaway is mm-hmm. oh this is a film so the yeah. dance is famous mm-hmm. i've got to learn to do the dance yeah that me, me, me too rocks me too. <laughs> gangnam, style. gangnam style there we are hey should we plug our plug our show oh yeah so some of you may have tuned in earlier this week when we were uh, doing uh, Open, Open Gundam, Gundam Style. style. <laughs> <laughs> um, we yes, opened we, a Gundam. We opened a Gundam. And we started building it. Yeah. It's, it's after, pretty cool. After watching, uh, uh, now, there's a whole franchise. Mm-hmm. Which which one did we start? Gundam. Gundam. Mobile Suit Gundam. Mobile Suit Gundam. Mm-hmm. And so, so uh, if you get a chance, tune in as we build the models. Yeah. And check it out. Yeah, the, w- the way we're structuring it is that uh, we watch five episodes of original Gundam, first uh, the first Mobile Suit Gundam series, and then we sit down and uh, continue assembling um, model kits and uh, uh, talk about the episodes yes. as we do so. So it's fun. So it's kind of both a Gundam commentary and kind of talking about uh, model kits at the same time. Everything right. begins to snap into place. Yeah, ha ha, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Um, let's see here. I hated that dance. Ah. You got an HK. Um, Genjikin's pretty darn that's, funny. That's pretty good. Genjikin's it is. awesome. I, yeah. I really enjoyed that. And Genjikin's uh, um, also a little more, I, I don't know, fourth wall. It, it, it's a little more sort of meta. Yeah. That, also, I think it helps having, having a little bit of, of uh, a lot of anime series under your belt because yeah. then you can appreciate it more knowing a little bit more about the culture. Yeah. You can say, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and sympathize and empathize. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah Genshin's a little, a little it, more... It uh, is more subtle. And, and, and it's more um, playing off of otaku stereotypes and fan stereotypes and so forth. So... Um... <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm I'm a fan of of crazy humor as much as I am of <laughs> subtle humor. Um, one of my favorite series ever was a Punny Pony Dash, which is just all whacked out humor. Um, I like the spectrum of, of stuff. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, a, a place for everything, and and uh, that 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 hits certain spots on the funny bone. I, yeah. I definitely can in, can appreciate. Yeah. And Buck and Tess is another uh, uh, example of a series that is kind of a little more making fun of of uh, anime stereotypes, which kind of helps. Um, very much making fun of anime. Um, good ideas. Um, the melancholy. Oh my goodness, that 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 brought me back terrible. to the early days of 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 like video school, film school. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I remember making projects <laughs> like that in school. Oh my goodness, I hope they never find their way out. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the fun thing about that is you realize, oh yeah, that is what it was like. You know, <laughs> that is what it was like. yes, it was that bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, Evan has recovered. Thank you. Thankfully. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Prayers always help. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, I don't know. I, I like the um, um, Zebek um, styles. Um, it, it's different, but it's kind of soft. Zebek style? Um, Zebek is an anime studio. Mm -hmm. um, and, and they have kind of a... a I would say roughly a house style, mm. uh, which they developed, which is kind of soft and uh, and rounded for their characters. Mm. Um, uh, and in fact, uh, Haruhi Suzumiya was the beginning of, or near the beginning of uh, Kyoto Animation, the, the studio that did that. They developed a house style, which um, this is a, a good example of. These have you know, very large eyes and such. Um, okay, yeah, so Zebek did the, uh, Love Hina. And I, did, I, Hina. I really enjoyed that series. Yeah. <laughs> Now we learn Pandora Hearts. Oops. Um, it's always fun hearing all the all, all the different series that I haven't seen yet and thinking, oh, I, I've got to get to that. <laughs> yeah. So many anime, so little time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, Steins Gate. Um, I, I watched the first episode of, and I really want to uh, finish all of that. Um, so the, the, the idea behind Steins Gate, for those who, who aren't familiar, is... Um, um, very weird. Again, sort of one of these fourth wall breaking series. There's a point at which one of the characters looks in the camera and says, "Hey, you, yeah, you, Otaku, sitting on the couch." Ah! Um, <laughs> whoa, whoa, he's talking to <laughs> yeah, me. Exactly. Um, but they they discover a, a method to um, send uh, text messages back in time. Cool. Um, and then, and so that they they can sort of um, influence time. Duck. And then, and I, huh? I haven't seen the series, so I don't think I, I, I'm speaking to what folks have told me. I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently, um, then one of their members dies, and so they send a message back in time to save her, hmm. and then she dies again. Oh, despite their best effort, right, and this keeps happening. They can't change. So something's going on. The eternal to save. loop of time. Yeah, and th this girl who keeps dying doesn't seem to have any connection to anything. She's just kind of a random person. But she's gonna die right. every so time. Something, no what something's they do. going on. So oh, it's I very love interesting. time. I, I I love time play, <laughs> time time warps and yeah. anything to do with time travel mm -hmm. and time loops. Oh yeah, mm. I've got to see that series. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm assuming amiibos are some kind of um toy well, let's find out here this, this is this is what what happens to not uh, uh okay so they're a nintendo thing um nintendo's wireless communications and storage protocol um for use between, between compatible toys oh okay so it, it's a it's figurine that then uh, can communicate with the uh oh the uh I remember the, the, the platform so, okay so gotcha. folks are folks are folks are Doing stuff with that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So kind of like the, the Disney um Disney Universe, whatever the, the Disney thing where you buy a figurine and it and then it's got the yeah. Infinity, I think. Disney Infinity. Um oh I see. So a lot of the, the characters getting the getting those are, have not had merchandise before. So you can kind of finally get a figurine of those. Um speaking of which, one one second, I, I discovered something at, at, at uh um at Barnes and Noble that shocked me. Oh, this is this is interesting. Uh, usually, when you go to big big box stores, uh, you get a variety of different things, and uh, it it can be amazing. Sometimes uh, they rotate their stock, and you never know what you're always going to encounter. But you know you're going to always encounter the 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 popular titles. Yeah. Um. So. 
What did you encounter? So I was in Barnes and Noble today and going through some stuff. Actually, it, it might have uploaded to my, let's see if it, it's uh, saved its way up to my photos. Um, oh, it's, it's moved now. Um, but you can guarantee they're going to have the 10 top selling titles and yeah. stuff that you're going to see in every airport around the world. <laughs> <laughs> But they also occasionally get some unusual stuff, uh, and that's based on a number of different factors. Totally. Uh, so, sometimes it has to do with the manager. Sometimes it's mm. just a random shipment, and they've included this. Yeah. But sometimes it's a pleasant surprise, <laughs> and it, it, it can be really exciting when you find something that you weren't expecting well, that was the thing, is that I was uh, walking in there, and I'd actually gotten a tip of somebody, this might be true, but I couldn't quite believe them. And um, I was walking in there, yeah, I, I know what so, those are. So a tip based on a rumor. Tip based on a rumor, based on uh, unknown facts, and this, this has not uh, uh, gone through yet. Um, so I, I turned a corner in Barnes & Noble, was wandering around kind of looking for stuff, and um, what I discovered was uh, four... Gundam models on a, on a shelf and on a, behind a glass case. Um, and below them were Gundam plastic model kits, Gunpla. Where, where was this? Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble. In the U.S. In the U.S. Um, and on the other side, there were Sailor Moon and Naruto characters. A display case. A, a display case for Gundam model kits and, and anime merchandise. They um, gave space to a display case. High-grade and master-grade model kits. <laughs> um Wow. So and um, so they had some Gundam Wing things, which that's one of the more popular ones over here. They also had some from Gundam Build Fighters, the most recent series, which hasn't even been released over here officially yet. Whoa! But they had like six model kits for Gundam Build Fighters. Well, wow! That, yeah. that, that, that shows that they're 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 paying attention to mm. to to trends. Yeah. And not just trends, but they're they're looking out to the future. There, mm -hmm. if it hasn't been released in the U.S. Yeah. They 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 know that uh, uh, we're we're impacting their business and they're they're looking after us. So that's, exactly that's good. And um, uh, so on the other side, um, uh, so model kits on one side. The other side were um, sort of pre-assembled figurines. Some of them were Gundam figurines. So you can buy little, um, you know, three foot tall. Oh my goodness. Gundams and things. Just, I, just imagine who who the guy's job <laughs> is. To, ah, I get to build all these Gundam. Well, that models. was the thing is they had a. Um, um, for display uh, cases, they had a Build Strike Gundam from Gundam Build Fighters. They had a, a Death Scythe from Gundam Wing, um, and then they had two others which I didn't recognize. Um, but it's really, really amazing. Um, so yeah, and, and I remember Toys R Us sold, um, I think, some model kits back in the day when Gundam Wing came out, and that was big. Um, but it, it all died off. So uh, it's really cool to see. I'd, I'd love to see what the um, distribution model is for that. I wonder if. Bondi came to them and said, you know, we'd like you to stock this here here are all the numbers. Um, if they're going through somebody else, I, I just I wonder. Um yeah, that's that's sort of an unusual distribution method if you think about it. I mean yeah. model kits in the in a traditionally bookstore. <laughs> exactly. Um but it follows through with some of the merchandising. If if true. if if you go with with uh fan distribution stuff, there's always little little uh things that come with any series mm -hmm. and it's just an expansion on that it, it makes a lot of sense exactly well and Barnes and Noble has a pretty extensive game section your board game section puzzle games things like that mm. uh, they've had that for a while uh, and obviously they sell you know various toys and such um, uh, in their kids section so I guess it's kind of a a, a factor or a, a piece of that and they, they sell a lot of Legos now too Oh, Legos. Uh, <laughs> Every kid should have Legos <laughs> absolutely um, that's the funny thing is looking over and saying you know as as big of a Lego maniac as I was growing up, you know that's a fifty five dollar box set there. The Gundam model gets fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's way more affordable. That, that is more affordable, <laughs> definitely. So uh, yeah, so so uh, I I had no idea Barnes and Noble sells sold any model kits, and apparently for for you know like not just um, immediately, but apparently they've been doing it for for a little bit. Hurrah, Barnes and Noble! Exactly, that's cool. So I'm gonna have to go and and, and get a couple of those. Always like to encourage that with. Uh, with, with uh, big chain stores because yeah. they, they they do look at their numbers and mm -hmm. if they see those going out the door then totally oh uh, they, maybe we should carry more <laughs> mm -hmm. and if you want to get into modeling that would be a great place to start because with fifteen bucks you get a model kit and you can just start playing with it I like that yeah 
Um, like we were saying the other day, you know, if, if you're not familiar with it, it makes sometimes it makes sense to buy a model kit that you don't love or that you you know you don't well, you don't know the Gundam just as something that you think you you can like because then you can play around with it. You know, you don't feel as as much like you're going to damage the thing you, you love most in the world. I am going to refine my model skills exactly. on Gundam, nice. and, and I'm going to build battleship. Yamamoto. Yamamoto. Nice. Exactly. Awesome. Um, <laughs> of course, that has probably less moving parts. But... <laughs> <laughs> there, there was a scene in Shirobako, uh, which is this recent um, anime series um, about making anime, which we talked about before. Oh, um, and uh, there's a scene where the main character goes to see Hideaki Yano, who is the, the uh, creator of Evangelion um, and a big otaku himself. So she goes to his house and it's a um it's a somewhat over the top representation of what Anno's house might look like. <laughs> you know, he has Evangelion themed couches, things like that. It's a little little silly. But then you notice in the back, uh behind him, um he, he has like scale. a six foot Yamato. <laughs> <laughs> he probably built himself. Um that uh, that that's kind of the level of geek that, that Hideaki Anno would be. Which that's that's pretty funny. And it's all lit. It's in a tank. It's the, the only other thing in the room. <laughs> it's a big impact, a big series. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, and 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 the ship has so much more representation mm. of of kind of the 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 ship of state yeah. representation oh, yeah. as, as the nation. Mm -hmm. So there, there's there's a lot of kind of metaphorical and mm -hmm. uh, symbolism. Uh, involved in in anime sometimes that we don't always uh, immediately yeah. see in the surface, but you see kind of a representational uh, symbolism mm -hmm. in, in in some of in some anime. Absolutely. Well, and you know, Yamato being a an historical ship, um, and how they sort of work that it into actually the was a ship. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so you know, once you know that and realize the the uh, symbolism is not quite the word I'm thinking of the the. Um, um, the, the weight sort of, of that historical the, the image of uh, yeah. well, what is what is uh, what is our country and where is it headed into the future? Yeah. And where is it now? And how do we process uh, the situations that we're in? And right. Yeah. Using the, this this huge kind of failed warship, if you will, um, uh, it, you know, in the future is a very interesting interesting uh, way of, of symbolizing. Of it. course, this is a very sharp contrast to the <laughs> the the more humorous titles that we've uh, <laughs> checked out tonight, but uh, that's. That's probably a good story for some other time. Exactly. Get into. Yes. Um, yeah, it's, it's a. Um, uh, in, fa in fact, it's interesting. Um, yeah, we, we've been doing all sort of funny, goofy series. Well, those are great, yeah, though. They are oh, absolutely. My ribs hurt, but I enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It, it, it's a it's a fun thing. Um, well, well, the the Gundam series is, is mm. a little more serious. Oh yes, absolutely. Dealing with you know, warring factions yes, and. True. Uh, displacement refugees yeah. it's uh, it's something that we deal with mm. uh on a global scale in mm -hmm. real life yeah and having something that's uh, that we can watch and not necessarily be a part of mm -hmm. makes it a little bit easier to process yeah uh one of the things I think is, <laughs> yeah one thing i think is, is really brilliant about original gundam too is the fact that it occurs to kind of these dispossessed people who are out of the way. Hmm. You know, it, it, it doesn't happen in a capital city. There's um, separation. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, you know, these are those people we read about in the headlines yeah. that are in some other country, some somewhere else, or suddenly impacted by this war. Yeah. Um, and, and we see how devastating it is to them and, and how they have to react to it. Hmm. Um, it you know, like you say, it re really makes it feel real. Yeah, we can we can relate humans. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, as as weird as they can be sometimes. <laughs> um, and to that point, I think Gundam's a great example of a series where you can have a lot of different kinds of characters, um, all working towards a goal in different ways. Um, you know, they're all on this team, but some of them are more sarcastic. Oh, um, the different personalities and their approaches yeah. to problem solving. Some mm -hmm. just plow through. Some some are more focused. Okay, we're gonna go buy the book. No, there's no time. We gotta do something. <laughs> action in action. Yeah. The struggle between achieving the goal and, uh, of course, personality uh, mm. uh, struggles. Yeah. As as different leadership styles start mm -hmm. becoming apparent, uh, and, and again, laid back or proactive. Exactly. And and I think one of the other brilliant things it does is that, that idea that 
a um, spoiler alert, kill off you know pretty much all of the existing sorry no uh, <laughs> no um, but you know, pretty much all of the the existing experienced characters get killed off pretty quickly um, at, at least in the oh, uh, for the heroes <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you can't stop that um, I can't up here no <laughs> um, and so you get to see all these characters try to figure out what to do when some of them are are, are have to command a ship some of them have to pilot. Um, and so how do they respond to that? You, you see all of that growth as opposed to just seeing a couple of characters growing. The emotional baggage. Oh, my dad's yeah. lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it might be my fault. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, what's the best Gundam to watch first? Um, it does depend on the taste of, of the viewer. Um, I'd say if you are okay with sort of classic old school style animation, I, I would start with the original Mobile Suit Gundam from 1979. Um, and I say that because I know a lot of fans who just cannot take, you know, 70s style animation. Um, I try to respect that. Um, but that is where it all started, and it is the kind of the the emotional center of the series. Some get more goofy, some get more serious, some go in, in various directions. But I, I think the original Gundam is is pretty in, in a pretty good middle ground. Mm. Um, then... Uh, well, then, yes, Abyss. A, a, dark, a bit of a dark story that leaves you wanting more within each episode and great character development. Then Gundam would certainly be it because um, it keeps on chugging, the, uh, moving that forward. Um, if you want um, a more recent anime series, um, um, I would recommend uh, Gundam Seed. Uh, it's more flashy. It's more stylistic. Um, it introduces some elements from original Gundam, um, but it goes off in its own direction. It's also more, more melodramatic. Um, so it's the kind of series that appeals, um, uh, I would say appeals to a wider variety of people. Well, maybe not a wider variety, but appeals on that sort of pure drama perspective. Drama. Um, whereas uh, Gundam doesn't necessarily work. So Seed has more of that, oh my gosh, got to figure out what's going to happen next. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Whereas Mobile Suit Gundam is a little more laid back. It's a little more about sort of a, a Gundam's more like a novel. It's sort of unfolding as you go. Seed is more of a soap opera, ah, where there's all this crisis going on. What's exactly, that? yeah. yeah. Um, and if neither of those work for you, a Gundam Double O is a, a much more recent series that is more serious. It's somewhat melodramatic. Um, it's I would say a little more uneven than the other ones, though. Yeah. Um, so that is kind of the closer to modern styles and and uh, what people like. Um, but it can be a little um, off-putting at times in terms of how, kind of a, it throws a lot at you, um, and then characters kind of appear and disappear a lot. Um, now, as, so. as 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 a franchise, uh, if I started chronologically and uh, went through uh, when they were released, mm -hmm. would that give me a swing of? It would to a great that? extent. So the the other side of that coin is that a lot of Gundam series restart the timeline. So they all start in they all start universe in universe reset exactly. <laughs> um, so Double O, for example, is set in its own universe. Seed is set in its own universe. Um, so you can start with Gundam Seed, and you don't need to know what came came before. What is helpful is is understanding where kind of what Seed and what Double O are responding to within the Gundam universe. Mm -hmm. So every series will include elements where they're kind of trying to react to or or. Um, deal with elements from previous series. So, for example, um, Gundam Wing famously is about um, five teenage uh, young men who are sent to Earth as basically terrorists to destroy the Earth government, uh, which is a, a very remarkable and, and sort of controversial thing at the time for, as, a, as a, a, a plot concept. Kind um, of controversial now. Exactly. <laughs> um, and so Double O introduced this idea, but um, went so far as to make one of the characters Arab. Um, wow. and the main character is literally from an Arabian country and was you know, um, brainwashed by a religious fanatic when he was a child. Um, what, what, what year was this? <laughs> <laughs> a couple of years ago. Um, <laughs> definitely post 9-11. Um, so th there was this... Um, um, so Double O is an attempt to uh, take that concept but deal with it in, in, a, in a somewhat more realistic socio-political way where Gundam Wing was a bit more over the top, mm -hmm. where there's lots of different political sides going back and forth, but it's a little more, um, again, sort of soap opera politics of mm -hmm. uh, big groups going back and forth. Double O is, is more trying to be like real world politics, if you will. Wow. Um, so again, it kind of depends on where you come from. This sounds in. exciting, I gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see um, 
and, and there's, there's lots of fun stuff. Um, so yeah, and, and, and this is especially for you guys who are willing to start there. Um, um, and then you also have, so the other ones you'll hear a lot are Gundam Wing, which aired on Toonami, so kind of everyone watched it. Um, but, but Gundam Wing's a very weird series. I, I love it, but it's the kind of series you kind of have to buy into and then watch. Um, it's, it's kind of, uh, um, it's a little like Sailor Moon. You know, you, you can watch Sailor Moon, you can say, that's interesting, but it's not a show for me, you know? And then there's some folks who watch Sailor Moon and are like, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. So, um, so you sort of get into it or get out of it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. yeah Gundam is kind of polarizing in that way. Um, yes, uh, in a way, Gundam is like a, a Final Fantasy or Super Sentai where they, they will tend to redo that. Now, um, the, the one big difference to that is what's called the Universal Century timeline, which is what started with, with original Gundam. So that is the one timeline that they keep on making more series in that timeline. But at this point, um, generally, it's only OVAs, uh, um, a miniseries. So you will see OVAs over the course of time set in, that, set in Universal Century. But generally speaking, TV series and movies will be alternate timelines. Wow. And if, if, if one timeline is, is popular, they'll make more stuff in that timeline, and then it'll sort of fade away. Different branches. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and there's also the weirdness that Gundam is so big in Japan that there's kind of a historical connection to it. So they can keep selling model kits from Gundam Wing, even though the last thing they made of that was in 97. Um, that just keeps on selling. So it's just kind of odd that that, that is kind of evergreen. Plus you have um, Super Robot Wars, which is a video game series where they came in and they said, we want to license every mecha series and have them all fight each other in this in this this game. Oh, wow. And they did somehow. That's so incredible. There have been a bunch of Super Robot Wars series, and each time they keep licensing new series. <laughs> and um, even more impressive is that they will, they, there's a plot line in a lot of them. So you get characters from different Gundam, different mecha series meeting each other and fighting each other, and then that spawns a whole new storyline that goes off. The team of lawyers <laughs> they must have had to get that to work was incredible. Exactly. And, and a lot of it is that um, you know, if they get Sunrise, for example, the studio Sunrise, well, they did Gundam. They did um, a bunch of stuff in the 70s and 80s. So there's a whole catalog that they get right there. And then they go to um, Gainax and get all the Evangelion stuff. So once they were able to do that, and, and moreover, once they were able to do that once or twice, and then come to them and say, look, everyone loves these things. It makes money. You know, everyone will be happy if you do this. It's a proven concept. It was easier to, to, to cycle what, through. What's, what's, the, what's the name of that? Super Robot Wars. Super Robot Wars. Wow. It's, it's a fun thing. And you, you can find clips on YouTube of folks who have uh, done, the, done things. Again, it's never going to come over to America because the, 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 <laughs> the, the, the rights and the licensing would be incredibly complicated. Um, I wonder if somebody could hack that and do an English oh, song. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who could try? Now, the other cool thing is um, there have been a couple of Super Robot Wars anime. Mm. And what they do there, because, again, the, the, the rights would be insane, um, every Super Robot Wars story has original characters as well, um, partly to be able to kind of comment <laughs> on glue. and have fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and to have kind of stereotypes in their own story. So the Super Robot Wars anime are all original characters but if you've been watching anime for a while you'll recognize them from various places you know it's like oh it's that trope and it's that trope and it's that trope um so that, that's fun they, they did a 26 episode tv series uh, a couple of years ago that was uh just you know every kind of every mecha trope all thrown in all at once which is really really fun um and a, a pretty big budget too um yeah so, so they don't really do crossovers i mean super robot wars they, do, they certainly do crossovers um, uh, but in, in Gundam, they, they keep those timelines very much in their own world. But yes, in Super Robot Wars, they, they, they do. Um, where would I place Turn A Gundam? Um, Turn A Gundam is... So, the thing to understand about Turn A Gundam is two things. It is explicitly set after every other Gundam series that come out up to that point. Hmm. Turn A Gundam is the one series that does kind of cross them all over because, well, I don't want to get into spoilers on that, but like he said, it is set in the future of all the Gundam series up to that point. Um, in my opinion, Turn A Gundam is Tomino, the director, his commentary on Gundam as a franchise and as a fandom mm. up to that point. So there's a lot of stuff in there about the themes that he's trying to get across in Gundam 
and getting those across in a very specific way that hadn't been done before. Oh, wow. Um, and trying to say things to the fans in ways that hadn't been communicated as clearly before. Um, so I think Turn A Gundam works best if you've seen at least two or three Gundam series before because you will totally enjoy it and appreciate it. It's a, it's a beautiful story. But once you understand what he's trying to say about war and conflict and how characters interact yeah. um, is much deeper if you see what he's kind of reacting to. Um, it, it's why I so often recommend people go back and watch historical old anime series because <laughs> then when you watch something like Yamada's First Time or something like Haruhi Suzumiya, you see what they're reacting to and you see the tropes that are sort of being uh, pulled in there. So Turn A is a, a special case. It's kind of a meta Gundam series in a lot of mm -hmm. ways. Um, but it's definitely a, a, a fun one. Wow. Um, so yeah, not, not so much uh, crossovers, except again, Turn A, which is kind of a weird thing. And then of course, there's Gun Gundam Build Fighters, which is that in the real world, or a version of the real world in which um, uh, you can take, take class and mo uh, plastic model kits and fight them. So of course, you can take any plastic model kit from any series and then fight them. And then they have little, you know, jokey references to the Gundam series in there, because why not? I've been talking for a long time. 